Hello everyone, I'm Festo, and this is a Know Your Game from my live stream against, I believe, uh, let me check real quick, um, Shiny Umbra 9096. Okay, so he had some random shit thrown in. He had an Alakazam, uh, Astoraptor, and some, yeah, and the Suicune, all of those are lower tier guys, so I was like, uh, this could be easy or. Again, it could be kind of weird because you don't see those guys in OU and sometimes you can't be prepared for them. So that's the thing about lower tier guys. But um, it's going to lead with the Suku and I have my Gym Alone lead. I'm just going to U-turn out, go into my Latios knowing that unless he Ice Beams, he cannot really touch me. But I thought it's like a Krokun or something because, yeah, that's actually pretty stupid to go into Latios and a Suku now that I'm thinking about it. But um, Draco Meteor is too obvious, so I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Fire, hit the incoming Magnus Zone. Then he's going to switch into Staraptor for no apparent reason, because I just Hidden Power Fired again. I spec Hidden Power Fired it quite a bit. Now I'm going to go into my uh, Skarmory, take the Brave Bird like nothing, and probably... Oh, okay, I was predicting a switch into Magnus Zone, because... As you may have seen in one of my previous battles, Magnezone is like the best Skarmory counter there could possibly be. So, uh, switch into my Tyranitar on the predicted Magnezone, and plus I wanted to get my send up. This doesn't happen. I'm gonna go back into my Sukun. I should, sorry. Don't drink coffee before narrating, like real shit. So, um, he toxics me, which I did not quite understand. I mean, toxic on a uh, Sukun, that's kind of weird, but. All I know is I go for the Spax Draco Meteor thinking that he's gonna predict me to <clears throat> over predict again and go for Hidden Power Fire again. Or Trick. I was thinking about Tricking but then I was like nah he's gonna stay in. So I go for the Draco Miss. Then I'm gonna switch into my Gliscor predicting the Fortress to come in. Either a Fortress or Magnezone. I mean I don't know why I switched into Gliscor and a Fortress but I just wanted to get my Toxic Orb going. So, uh, yeah, he just rests thinking he could live a, um, a thingy, a Draco Meteor. I don't know, because I don't battle those in OU, so I, I can't answer the question. But uh, I, all I know is I'm going to go into my Skarmory Whirlwind on the second turn of sleep to reset it, because I'm such a bitch. So, um, yeah, get him into Haxorus, and Haxoruses cannot touch Glys not Gliscors, um Skarmories at all. He goes for the Brick Break by the damage, I'm gonna say. It is a choice bandit because I believe I'm max defense. So I'm gonna set up some spikes. Now he uh, now I'm gonna predict a switch into Magnezone and go back into my G Malone just because I wanna hit him with um, an earthquake. Now he goes into Alakazam. I didn't understand it again. Why the fuck won't you switch into Magnezone? Like Fucking, I just, I just don't understand. But uh, G Malone, yeah, gonna U-turn on the Suicune, and go into my um, Bronzong. I just want to get the rocks up for uh, the Staraptor because I thought the Staraptor is gonna die after I set up the rocks, and next time it comes in. So uh, yeah, get up the rocks now. Mm, yeah, he switches out. I don't know why he switched out honestly because I could have Earthquake there easily, but uh, I decided to switch out. Oh, I, I thought. Okay, okay, this time he switched into Magnezone, and I mean, I have Earthquake, so there is no point really switching into Magnezone on the Bronzong, because Bronzong will win either way, even if you have Hidden Power Fire, it's not going to do all that much. Now, he predicts my U-turn and goes for the Flash Cannon, like, I was like, wow, Flash Cannon, then he shows me lefties, and Flash Cannon with the lefties did way too much, I'm a Tarani Boa. That's, that's just crazy, a Specs Flash Cannon is a 2 hit KO, that, that's just wow, I mean, well, yeah, again, it's Specs, or it could be Expert Belt, so, yeah, Tyrantar isn't that good of a counter to Magnezone anymore, I guess, if people are smart, they're gonna start using Flash Cannon, and if people are smart, they're gonna start using Baldos and their, um, and their Ferrothorns. Anyhow, I'm gonna switch into my Skarmory on the Outrage. It is a 2 hit KO from that range. Definitely Choice Banded, no doubt. This thing is a powerhouse with a Choice Band. Takes out my Skarmory. Uh, that's okay, okay, and alright. And something happened on my iPhone. Oh, never mind. 
of some four square shit. So yeah, I'm just gonna come in with my Scarf Landorus, just finish him off because he did get the third turn outrage. Now he goes into Fortress, I'm like, okay, I can possibly live any hit from that thing. Well, in fact, I can live any hit. And he decides to Rapid Spin just to bring in this Raptor. I'm not really worried about it again because I do have the Bronzong still and Bronzong will the Raptors any day, except for, well, Close Combat won't do all that much, honestly. So mm, yeah, he Gyro Bulls, I th I switched out. Okay, I switched out thinking he would go into the Raptor because it's the thing that makes sense the most. You can dodge the Earthquake with your Star Raptor. That's why you're gonna go into it, right? No, that's just sometimes I just don't understand people. Just don't question them. Now he's gonna go into Suicune, try to wake up. I'm just gonna set up the rocks again. I think I got a uh, Earthquake cred on the incoming Suicune, but uh, that's like whatever. Now I'm gonna switch back into my Gym alone. I thought I was like, okay, I kind of overestimated Landris at this point, but again, I believe I'm hasty nature, plus speed minus defense. Uh, that's why I don't quite kill him, uh, which is unfortunate, but um, you know, oh, whatever. He's just gonna scold me, I'm gonna live it, because he is a Crow Coon, not an offensive Coon. And uh, Landris is just gonna run through his entire team now. Uh, kill this incoming Suku and finish off the fortress. Staraptor is gonna die to rocks, and Alakazam won't be able to survive a uh, an earthquake. Sand power boosted earthquake. Yeah, so this is gonna be the game. He had some random shit going on in his team. I just wanted to upload it because I just want you guys to see more content from me, the Mephesto. So yeah, it's gonna be the game for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. Probably you didn't because it was just rape. But this guy is pretty good, honestly. I battled him before. Anyway, that's it. Check out my form spring. Ask questions if you're brave enough, boy. And I'm Mephesto.